What's up everyone, this is Lie Talkers Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how Night Mode has progressed throughout the betas of iOS, and how much it's improved, and some of the bugs and new changes. Let's get started. So after every few beta update videos, I've actually decided to start making night mode videos and show you guys the progress on how it's actually turning out. I have one that was released about a month ago and the same thing before that. I have about two videos explaining night mode. And what's really good is in the last video I made about night mode, I mentioned that Twitter actually finally added support for night mode. So when you have night mode turned on, usually most apps actually do not have support and all the images are inverted, whereas Twitter actually added support. And in that video, I actually predicted that once Twitter does it, YouTube, Snapchat, you know, big social media apps like that will start to do it and then it'll actually trickle down to smaller developers and things like that and other apps will soon add support. And that's exactly what happened. So next up, I just wanna show you that YouTube has actually added support. I'll show you at the end of this video. but. One of the things I like about night mode is that when you force press, you get like this really cool black panel compared to like the more white and gray one that you usually would see. I think this looks really nice, although they still need to fix the widget panel. Some of the images are inverted. And something that I do really like about night mode is when you had it turned on, there used to be this really slow choppy animation every time you opened up the apps. If you have a non-beta iOS 11 device, go ahead and try this. You'll see what I mean. But this has basically been fixed in the past beta. The animations aren't really that choppy anymore. I don't know why it used to be choppy, but that bug has been fixed, which is really good to see that Apple's actually working on this. Something that's really cool is I thought night mode would be something Apple would work on and then slowly just forget about, but that's totally not the case. Ever since we heard rumors about the iPhone X, Apple has been slowly working on this and trying to perfect it and make it better and better. And I think they've done just that. I'd say it's only a matter of time before the full operating system is fully working and there's pretty much no bugs or lag. And then I'd say then it's just going to take time for developers to add support. You can obviously see in the control center there's a few bugs. And one of the things I want to mention is one of the bugs that I do not like is when you open up an app and it shows like the inverted color and then it goes back to normal. I'm glad it goes back to normal, but you see how the apps change and stuff. So right here is an example of YouTube. So usually this app was not having support for night mode, but you can see now it does. All the images and the actual video itself has support for night mode, meaning everything else but the actual video and photo content itself is inverted, which is really good to see. And like I mentioned earlier, once Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, all these big companies start doing this, a lot of smaller developers are gonna do the same thing. And I'd say about a year or so from now, we're gonna have a fully working night mode all throughout iOS, even within the system UI. And on top of that, all the apps will have night mode support, which is awesome. And we can finally have fully working night mode. This has been my dream for so long. I've wanted this since like iOS 7 for so long and it's finally happening. It's just really cool to see how it's been progressing over time. And you can even see that the video file itself actually is properly displayed on the screen, whereas before it used to be like inverted and it was really ugly. Now, some of the things, there are still a few issues, like for example, when you go to swipe down and stuff, there's still some weird compatibility issues with the shading and stuff, but I won't get into that. So like I mentioned earlier, there is still a bug that I wanna show you guys that I really hope gets addressed eventually in the future versions of the iOS beta, is when you start to open up apps and stuff, you'll see like the splash screen is actually inverted and then it goes to normal. So you can see, for example, when you open up the clock app, everything's inverted, but then it goes back to normal. I'm glad it goes back to normal, but you see like that flash, that's just not normal. So I hope that eventually this can get addressed and fixed. You can see that the camera app does the same thing. So this is just one of those things that is gonna get fixed over time. It's just, we gotta wait, but that's really about it for today. I just wanted to keep you guys updated, show you how night mode's progressing over time. And that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.